Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this presentation we will study about why instrument signal cable screen, or shield, to be terminated to ground at the control room end only, and screen to be left floating at field instrument, about ground current loop. Instrumentation cables Instrumentation cables often carry low-level signals that are susceptible to external electromagnetic interference, EMI, and radio frequency interference, RFI. Dot. For better understanding consider a detailed example scenario involving a pressure transmitter in a process plant. In this scenario, We'll explore the impact of terminating the screen of an instrumentation signal cable to ground at both ends versus terminating it at the control room end only. Scenario 1, screen, or shield, termination at both ends. Consider a scenario where a pressure transmitter is connected to a control system using an instrumentation signal cable. The screen of the cable is terminated to ground at both the transmitter end and the control room end. The dual grounding creates a loop, and any differences in ground potential between the transmitter and the control room can induce currents in the loop. External electromagnetic interference or differences in ground potential can induce noise into the signal leading to measurement errors in the pressure reading. In the event of a fault, the looped ground path can carry fault currents, potentially posing safety risks and increasing the likelihood of equipment damage. Scenario 2, shield termination at control room end only. The screen of the cable is terminated to ground only at the control room end. The single point ground reference at the control room minimizes the risk of ground loops. EMI is effectively diverted to ground at the control room, preventing interference with the analog signal. The pressure transmitter provides accurate and stable readings due to the absence of ground loop induced noise. In the event of a fault, Fault currents are directed to ground at the control room, reducing the risk of electrical hazards. The second scenario, with termination at the control room end only, ensures stable and accurate signal transmission, terminating the screen of an instrumentation signal cable to ground at both ends should generally be avoided to prevent the formation of ground loops. Scenario 1 termination at both ends, fluctuating pressure reading, 14.5 bar to 15.0 bar, significant signal noise, plus or minus 0.5 bar, scenario 2, termination at control room only, steady pressure reading, 15 bar, minimal signal noise, plus or minus 0.2 bar. Best practice to terminate it in control room side, screen to be left floating at field instrument. Thank you for watching this video.